Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. Welcome to my special guest, Brother Luke here, for joining me on another one of my reviews. He's going to be moving soon, and this will not be a everyday or every other day experience. Um, I'm extremely pleased to introduce <clears throat> the historic ales from Scotland. Um, just holding this up for you, I want to make a quick point. <laughs> uh, if you look at the bottles individually, one says gooseberry, one says elderberry, the other one has like pine hops from Scotland. I really think that these beers are going to taste a lot different from what we have around here, and I really think that the ingredients may have actually come directly from Scotland, thus creating the out of this country experience. Um, these None of these have been refrigerated, but I know for a fact, because I checked, that one out of the four here is meant to be drank at room temperature, so I'll probably be reviewing the other three on my own at some point, but this one, check it out. It's called Alba, and it says Scott's Pine Ale, and we're looking at a 7.5% ABV beer at 330 milliliters, um, brewed with all natural flavors, and at the back it says Scott's Pine, and in brackets, Pinus Alba. Introduced by the Vikings, spruce and pine ales were very popular in northern Scotland until the end of the 19th century. Alba is a triple style ale brewed with, brewed to a traditional Highland recipe using the springs of spruce and pine collected every spring. This complex, rich, tawny ale is best drunk at room temperature from a wine goblet. Oh, we don't have a wine goblet, but we'll be all right. We'll manage. Um. I'm not going to read the ingredients because I don't want to go in there blind. We got a very cool looking uh, cap. Um, maybe this is all from the same brewery. I don't know. They're all the same caps. Uh, <coughs> one thing I wanted to point out is I was speaking with somebody who was a huge fan of this one. And they got everything that they needed to brew this. And they were going to brew it. And what stopped them is they found out from somebody who, was, who knew very well that you, when you brew with pine needles, you need to brew with baby pine needles. Apparently you can't use matured pine needles. It, it's not the same. Um, it's like it would, That would be like drinking pine needles from your Christmas tree. That just the thought of that just grosses us out, I'm yeah. sure, right now. Um, so, here goes. You want to take a look? Oh, totally. Totally. <clears throat> There's not too many of these in Toronto, but I got it at the Queen's Key LCBO, and there was plenty the last time I checked. The only thing I regret from Releasing such information is that you may buy them before me. <coughs> that is my only regret. I'm excited for this one, though. Cle it clearly says product of Scotland, right? So yeah. Have you ever have you ever had a beer at room temperature? Like and, uh, and enjoyed it? <coughs> when uh, we were at Hellfest, um, big metal festival, there was no refrigerator, no cooler, so I was drinking Heineken in Carlsberg at more than room temperature for quite Carlsberg. a while. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. Smells kind of fruity, eh? Yeah. No, I disagree. It's something different. No, what I meant by fruity, I meant like berry fruit. Like, sorry, piney, berry, fruity kind of. Oh. That has a very nice aroma to it. A very nice aroma to it. One thing I want to look at uh, look at right away is whether it actually tastes like a seven and a half percent ABV. Well, it's probably too late for me to be able to pick up all the aromas now. We got a very uh, very same looking color as the last one, except this one you can actually uh, look through a lot better. This one's actually kind of uh, what's the word mahogany looking color. It's not. It's, it's it's even kind of woody looking. It's not really brown, but it's woody. No, that's stupid. I kind of see a hint of amber. Yeah? It could just be the light. <clears throat> Very faint. Because I had an amber recently, and it looked a little bit different, which is what I'm trying to base it off of. You would know better than I. I'm just... But no, you're right. I, I, was, I was contemplating, like, is this really an amber color? Because mahogany is a lot darker. Woody would be a lot more brownish. So I guess you're right. It would be more of a amber color. You'd be the judge, ladies and gentlemen. The camera doesn't do it justice, but... <laughs> All right, bro. Well, this uh, is uh, quick. this is also going to be a uh, warm once again room temperature beer. I'm not going to say warm because warm is a whole other world. 
<clears throat> Cheers. That's the berry taste I'm talking about. Wow. See what I mean? Like, isn't that like a berry taste? Wow. Now I want to look at the ingredients. No, not quite yet. Please. I want to think about this for a second. He won't be able to because it's all Scotland ingredients. It's like the very satisfying taste of, of a lager to me. And it's followed by something fruity and sweet. And it kind of fades yeah. right away. Yep. Yeah. Like, like that. I think it might just be those baby pine needles we're talking about. Have you? When was the last time you saw a baby pine needle? Right, to be honest, I, I don't think I ever have. Exactly. So <laughs> who knows what they taste like, right? So we're drinking babies. <laughs> but it's good. Like, uh, like even though it's not cold, it's still refreshing. See, it says to serve it at um, room temperature. I imagine it brings out the flavors. The yeah. Like, if you if you were to drink it more cold, you would lose that. That, yeah. That yeah. prominent taste that you're you're enjoying. That's why they 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 say that. Like, I'm not gonna go out on a limb and say this is the best beer I've ever had, but without question, this is the most original, um, in a positive way. This very is much. this is very very um. Like wow, that's all I can really say is wow. Yeah, it's very different. I, Normally I'm down on them, but I'm trying to kind of save yeah, them. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. very, very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sadly, we know that when we finish this, we can't get it ever again unless we go buy that four-pack. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'll let you know how the rest of the four-pack goes. I'm still like No matter what, I'm still going to continue smelling that like piney, like baby pine needle... Like, if you look at the ingredients at the back here, <clears throat> malted barley brie, okay, I've never had that. I've had malt, malted barley, I've had barley, I've had roasted barley, I've never had malted barley brie, and Scott's pine, and spruce sprigs. So, I don't know what a sprig is, but it could have something major to do with this. <clears throat> do you taste 7.5%? No, not at all. It just tastes like a fiber. Oh, totally. You know what, maybe five and a half, like, it's got that little... Um, yeah, yeah, I'd agree. In I'd the agree. back of the throat. Yeah. To get all specific on you. Specific. No, um, I don't mean to jump the gun here, but I highly recommend this right here, man. This is, um... Very interesting. Yeah, that, that's the best way to describe this, is... If you're one of those beer connoisseurs that are sick of drinking the same old stuff... Go out and buy a four pack of Scott's Historic Ales Pine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was bad for it, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, to this day, I love my lagers, and this guy gives me um, a taste of what's out there, and it, it's good to try something new and exciting like this. It's just um, starting like, to taste it even more by the ending, actually. Oh, for sure, for sure. Very good. Um, you know what, if you just, for some reason, if you really don't want to try drinking a beer at room temperature, <clears throat> I suggest making it cooler, but don't make it too cold. Don't put it in the freezer, don't keep it in a, in a extremely cold fridge. Um, if anything, this is what I'll say. Grab a room temperature bottle, throw it in the freezer for five, maybe seven minutes and then drink it. And then you'll at least have a little bit of a chill. It's not numbing the taste. And, uh, yeah. Welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. Are you started? Oh, we're in the middle of it right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come, come get in on this. No, 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 no. Yeah, oh, you, you, you want to you try, you gotta try this. Come here, come here. You gotta try it. No, no. It's, it's been hyped up too much. No, yeah. I, I have, I have to, I have to. Try uh, one sip. One sip. One sip. This is our rebel. It's a pine beer. Mm -hmm. oh, it's different. It's day. different, eh? Yeah, very good. And it's not even cold. No. Room temperature. Yeah. Yeah. And do you have to drink it room temperature? It yeah. says to. Really? Yeah. Mm. You get it specifically stuff. in a four pack. 
mouth because it's nice taste. That's what I was saying. It's all the really ingredients are from Scotland. It's got, uh, where is it? Hey. I missed out. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is our beautiful Nana. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gardening, gardening, so I'm not dressed for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got barley brie, mm -hmm. Scots pine, and spruce sprigs. Yeah, you can only taste it at the end there. Do you know what a sprig is? A sprig is a, like a little... I'm asking you because we have no idea, and we've been tr trying to ask them, and they're not answering. Sprig is a, a sprig. It could be a sprig of parsley, like a little. Oh, okay. You know, sprig. Okay, okay, okay. Like okay. Yeah, not pinch, but it has okay. a little stem, a little sprig. A little oh, okay. Little, yeah. okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. cool. Very cool. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you very thank much you for the input. Well. Thank you for right. your input. Okay. <laughs> Continue. You're doing a good job. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers to the grandmama. All right, uh, I'm gonna down this one. It's done. Ratings. That was good. Maybe the last taste wasn't that great, but that's because it's room temperature. But I just find that that interesting taste is more prominent at the end. Yeah, I can't say it's. It's a so prominent thing. that like it's actually maybe a little too strong, but it's still good. I give it a. I'm looking in the fours. Maybe four point two out of five. 4.1 out of 5? It's good, man. I was um, <clears throat> between a 4.6 and a 4.7. So to, to get all precise, I'm going to say a 4.65. Um, 4.6 out of 5? Or 4.65? 4.65 out of 5. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be the first in my 170-something <laughs> reviews that we went something point something something. And, and the only reason is... is um, <clears throat> it's it's like I said it's it's um something new that's very very um, tasty and I think that's what's making me so intrigued about it. You get your really excessive hops, excessive barley, um, and this is just something original that uh, I think that they mastered. They really got what they were trying to get across. Let's put it quite frankly to you, ladies and gentlemen. Two of us are drinking a 330 milliliter bottle, and we are almost at 13 minutes in one review. Yeah, really. So, there's so much to say. So much to say. I just recommend going. Mm -hmm. If you are an LCBO fan, that's not what I wanted to say. If you want to look for this beer, <laughs> look it up on LCBO.com, or just go to the Queen's Key, uh, I don't know, Queen's Key and Young, I believe it is. Uh, there's a huge LCBO in Toronto, and they have vast variety of beers and this is one of the four packs that you can pick up at the store all right people thanks for joining us on another one of my reviews thanks to lucas my special guest and brother thanks and, ladies and gentlemen don't drink and drive but drink responsibly cheers peace